Okay, so we're going on vacation just for five days to an all-inclusive resort. And I'm just going to share with you how I'm packing for my 19-month to toddler and my three-and-a-half-year-old. So I'm just going to show you uh, not so much like the pool toys and stuff, but just how I'm packing, um, you know, the essentials. So for my son, I've got this rash guard here. It's um, Angry Birds, which is not really what I wanted, but... It was last minute, and this is what Walmart had in his size. And the reason I just got him a top is because he has these splash abouts, and these are um, swimming nappy or a swimming diaper. So he'll be in this most of the time, and I just find with the rash guard, it's a little bit more protection from the sun, being out in the sun all day. And then he's also got a one-piece one here. It's inside out, but I'll kind of show you here. It's just three-quarter length sleeve, and... It goes down just like a capri kind of on him, and it's a Cars one, but I've got it inside it right now. Now, the good thing about this is that my three-and-a-half-year-old will also fit into this, so if need be, they can kind of share their swimming stuff. So that's two sets of different swim things. And then here I've got a bandana, which my three-and-a-half-year-old can use, or um, Benji Bear on their head to protect from the sun. And then I've got these cute little hats here that I got at H&M. Quite a while ago actually but I've got a beige one and I've got a plaid one and he likes those and he keeps them on his head so that's the most important thing and then for London I just saw this cute little simple bathing suit and it's like a bright blue with navy blue heart print and it was really cheap and I thought it was cute so I picked her up that bathing suit for the trip and then as well like her brother she has got a one-piece um, suit here and hers is just short sleeves and shorts. But like I said, I like these. If you're going to be all day in the sun, as much as I'm applying sunblock, I just really like the extra protection that these offer for the sun. And then she's got, which my son doesn't have one of these, but she has this like little towel cover, which is just handy to put on if she wants to leave the pool, you know, to go to the washroom or go get a snack or something like that. Just easy, a little towel, and it's cute. So she's got that little cover up as well. Then obviously here we've got a stack of um, panties, which she'll need. <laughs> and over here I've just got two like onesies for Benji Bear for pajamas because we're only there for four nights and some nights he won't even be wearing pajamas. He'll probably just go to sleep in a diaper. It's really hot and he likes to do that here. And so it just depends on the night whether I put him in a little onesie or just a diaper really. So I've got those ready if need be. And then I've got here in outfits, I've put together five outfits and then just because mostly we're just going to be around the pool, I'm hoping to spend the majority of our days just kind of at the pool, relaxing on the beach, playing and then it'll just really be getting dressed to go for dinner. So I've just got kind of the clothes set up here in outfits. Okay, so you can see here I've got this little zebra skirt with a little t-shirt with the funky zebra on it. And then over here, I've just got this, uh, I don't remember where I got that, actually, that skirt and t-shirt set. This little, like, jungle print um, sundress I got at H&M, and I love these sundresses. We have so many different ones. And I just thought that was cute just to go to dinner. Then she's also got this one-piece, like, romper, I guess you would call it, and it's just purple and yellow, so I thought it really appropriate for spring and Easter. And then she's got this little Carter's dress which is in a mint green and like a fluorescent yellow. So that's another little outfit. And this is just a black t-shirt from H&M. It's inside out, but I've got to pack it. And little, uh, they're like denim shorts with these little poppies on them. I got these in Primark two years ago and they still fit her. Um, so that, those worked out to be a super deal. And then for Saturday or Sunday night, um, which is like Easter for dinner, I just packed her this dress is very light but a little bit prettier a little bit fancier it's like a creamy white with navy blue and this is also from H&M but I got this last year and it still fits her so that is her um, her little outfits for the week and then here I've got these little H&M uh, slip-on kitten shoes that I got she wears these a lot as you can tell um, but I thought these were cute and they kind of go with any of the outfits they're pretty neutral and then she'll just be wearing her flip-flops around the pool or her crocs Outfits for Benji Bear for the week. I just have this little red tank top. Um, I believe I got this at H&M too. That's a surf club. And then these cute little um, like board short type things. This is just more of an extra outfit to have on hand for him because 
you know, 19 months old, he can be really messy and he's probably going to take a lot more breaks from the pool, um, you know, than London. So he may, need, he may need some extra changes. And then this outfit here is just this white t-shirt, sorry, this is the fonts, and I just think this is really cute, and I got this at Next. And then these blue uh, board shorts, that's my daughter in the background, she's in the bathroom there and she's just sneezing. Um, and these are like three-quarter length capris, they're very loose, very thin, um, but they can be rolled up too, so that's one outfit. And then he's got this I Make All the Rules, which is just a t-shirt from Primark. And then these cotton Carter shorts that look kind of like their sweatpant material, but they're a little bit thinner. And then he's got this outfit, which is completely from H&M. This is a red uh, golf shirt. And then these really cute plaid shorts with the belt. And again, I bought these like two years ago. I think these are size nine months. He's 19 months and these still fit him. So I'm getting a lot of use out of the clothes I bought from H&M. They really seem to um, go the distance. Then I've got this Superman t-shirt and these jean shorts. And I believe this outfit I got at Primark when I was in England too. So I do most of my shopping when we go to England or Canada. So um, yeah, but I thought this was a really cute outfit as well. Just very um, casual, but still cute. And then the last outfit I have here is a Carter's One Piece uh, that I got at Costco for him just recently. And it's just like a little... Um, one piece romper here and it's just navy blue with mint and coral and like a lighter blue and then the little mint sailboat so I thought that was cute and comfy for him so those are his outfits for the week I am not going to bring a lot of toys with us because normally when I pack I overload with toys and they really don't get played with so I'm taking obviously like pails and shovels and little floaties for the pool um, and that's where like I said we'll be spending the majority of our time is at the beach and at the pool but I did think it would be a good idea to bring a few things for my daughter so I've got this pink bag here that's from H&M and I'll just move this stuff out of the way so you can see it's just like a mesh bag so that's good for her to take some stuff down to the pool or the beach and in there I'm just going to put a few of her My Little Ponies because she loves her ponies um, and Benji Bear can play with those too and then I'm just bringing four books and the reason I'm bringing the books is, you know, being outside all day with the fresh air, kids don't want to take a break. They don't want to rest. And once they get overtired, I just find that for London anyways, a good way to settle her down at the end of a long day is just to say, come on, let's go and, you know, read a couple of books before bed. Then I've got these here. These have fallen over. These stackable cups. These I usually have in the bathtub, but Benji Bear loves them, and he can play with them in the pool or up in the room, and they're just easy to kind of shove in the suitcase. So I'm just going to bring a few of those. And then for Benji Bear, I'm just bringing his kids' um, Huggies shampoo, and this one smells really good. It's blueberry, and it's I've never tried this one before until recently. I've had this one for about two weeks now. And then I also am bringing the Johnson's Baby Moisturizing Cream because, again, being all day out in the sun, I just think after his bath it would be nice to put a little bit of moisturizer on him. And then for London, I'm bringing her little kitty purse here that we got at Next so that when, you know, we get dressed up to go out for dinner or whatever, she can bring her purse feel like a big girl. And then also tucked under here is also for London. And these are just her little pink sunglasses. She loves sunglasses. She has more pairs of sunglasses than I do, and she wears them all the time. So we just got these little pink sunglasses for her to take. And then I've got in this Ziploc baggie here just all of her hair stuff. So not a ton of stuff, but just like her detangling spray and... Um, just for a sock bun and we're going to share this little pouch just with elastics and a hairbrush and just like I mean we're going to the to the pool and the beach like I said so it's just going to be pretty much like hair up in a bun kind of um, a week but I've got all that stuff in there just handy and I'll probably keep that in like our beach bag um, when we go out just to have it handy and then for us oh and for the kids actually here I've got this biodegradable sunscreen this we actually bought at a resort last year and we still have it so this is an SPF of 50 so that's for the kids then I've also got this Hawaiian Tropic after sun um, just for all of us really after being out on the sun I hope nobody gets sunburned but my older two especially love to tan and they never put on sunscreen um, so we'll see then I've also got this Johnson's baby lotion mosquitoes anti-mosquito so it's like mosquito repellent Four in the evenings, um, sometimes around this time of year here in Mexico, the mosquitoes can get pretty bad. So I've also got a bigger um, bug spray here for us to take as well. 
And then for us, speaking of sunburning and the bad example, the bad mom that I am, I am bringing along some tanning um, things. So I've got this Nivea Sun tanning with carrot, and this only has an SPF of two, and then a Hawaiian Tropic tanning um, with an SPF of four. So I always put a 50 on my face, and I'll usually just use the kids one if I'm getting in and out of the pool a lot, but I have my own as well. But I do like to put like the Hawaiian Tropic or the Nivea one on my legs just to try to get a bit of color on my legs. But other than that, I, I, um, I like to put a lot of SPF on my hands and on my face. So that's what I have in terms of sun tanning lotions and potions and things like that. So I think that's pretty much it for what I've got right now. Oh, and in the back corner there, I've got five pull-ups. That's for my three and a half year old who is kind of staying dry through the night now. Oh, good girl. And, uh, but I just thought I'd bring those as a backup. So that's it. Here's my big heap of a mess all ready to get packed up, ready for our vacation. I'm so excited, even though we're only going somewhere that's about 45 minutes from our house, because we live in a resort area of Mexico and it's absolutely beautiful here. And I don't know if you can see, I'm actually going to just show you at my window. This is outside of uh, my bedroom window. So it's tropical and it's lush and it's perfect weather. And right now it's spring break for us because our kids get two weeks off um, at Easter. So, good job, London. So, here it is, my what I'm packing. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you guys are all having a great uh, pre-week to Easter and getting all excited for the Easter bunny and all that good stuff. Okay.